Entitlements. Once you've done that whole enrollment process and the parents confirmed it, you'll be able to see your entitlements. Now, from a uh, like menu point of view, you go to CCS and then you go to entitlements, okay? Now, because my screen's blocked, I've got some photos for you. But by default, you'll be able to see all the entitlement changes and owner will actually email you when there's a change in entitlement. And that screen is actually really cool. I like this one a lot. It will actually show you all the different children that had any changes recently. And it'll tell you what their previous amounts were and what their new amounts were. And it will tell you if it's gone up or if it's gone down. And if, if it was the percentage or the hours or maybe the annual cap has been reached. Okay, so that's actually changed. So you'll be able to see that there as well. So it'll, it'll tell you what the change was. So you know from a CCS point of view or a gap fee or whatever the case is, what that implication will mean. So this family here will start paying full fees. So you know when you generate the invoices, why you might not see CCS anymore. Okay, so what you can do from the entitlements pages is not only see the changes, but you can actually run the report for all your children and you can see um, every single child at that particular date, right? What their hours and what their percentages was for each individual children, as well as you have like a total of all the absences. That's a question we get a lot. How do I know all my children in the center's absences, okay? And one thing to note with absences is it does pick up other centers that they've attended as well. It's not just yours, okay? It's as a CCS enrollment as one whole, okay? And then um, I had one more, entitlements, individual. So you can see that, that child's individual entitlements, okay? Come here and you can see just that one child by selecting it from the drop-down filter. And then you'll be able to see all that information, but just for the one child. Okay, and you can then change the date filter to see how their entitlements changed over the period.